I'm Sarah Borg from Keto here in Los Angeles for Eat Well 2019, NERID's annual conference. I'm joined today by Tom Herzog, CEO of Health Peak Properties. Welcome, Tom. Thanks, Sarah. So you've been repositioning the company's vision and strategy over the past few years. Can you talk specifically about why the name change you recently announced was an important milestone? Yeah. So. We uh, started restructuring the company three and a half years ago when I rejoined the company. And um, we had really four different objectives in mind when we started the endeavor. First, we wanted to completely revise our strategy, which is to invest in the three core private pay segments of the healthcare real estate uh, sector. And those included medical office, life science, and senior housing. With that effort, we ended up divesting either through sale or spin of $12 billion of real estate. Second thing we did is we modified our balance sheet dramatically. We, uh, we paid down $6 billion of debt. Uh, it brought our net debt to EBITDA in the mid to high fives. And we regained our triple B plus BAA1 status with the uh, rating agencies. Third, we um, modified our senior executive team. In, flat, in fact, uh, a complete uh, repositioning of our C-suite, top to bottom. And finally, we did board refreshment, which included changes in governance policies and an age 75 mandatory retirement age, uh, which resulted uh, in a lot of refreshment uh, within the board ranks. Okay. And with that, I should say, um, it really, three years later, looked like an entirely different company, and therefore we really thought it was a great time to change our name. So HealthPeak's three core business segments are life science, medical office, and senior housing. How did you come about choosing those three segments? Well, first you have to back up and look at the healthcare industry as a whole. It's an absolutely enormous industry, as I think everybody knows. It constitutes 18% of the entire U.S. GDP, going to 20% in the next uh, six years or so as projected. Um, a lot of different places to play within healthcare real estate. It includes the three that we're involved in of life science and MOB and senior housing, but also hospitals, skilled nursing, um, high yield mezzanine debt, international investment. But we preferred the more stable cash flow growth of uh, the three segments that we chose. So what are the synergies of investing in those three diversified segments? Um, really, when you, when you think about the, the diversification that occurs and the scale that we can achieve, they're both important. Uh, scale gives us a, a, a better cost of capital. Uh, GNA uh, scale is important. Um, but when I look at the three different segments, they all operate on different cycles. MOBs, um, we're looking at uh, more steady, solid growth throughout the cycles. Uh, life science is a bit more volatile, but has uh, huge demand currently uh, facing the uh, sector, which is, is fantastic. And we prefer the three uh, markets of San Francisco, San Diego, and Boston, the hotbeds of where the innovation is occurring. And in senior housing, it's a bit different business. Um, there, it's an operating business versus the other two, which are rental income businesses. And senior housing just has huge benefits from the demographics that are coming from the explosion of baby boomers that are hitting the market. And when you look at 10,000 uh, baby boomers turning 65 every single day, there's going to be an enormous opportunity there. And we really think that putting the three together allows us to have strong cash flow and dividend growth through the cycles. Now here at REIT World this week, HealthPeak was awarded silver in near its inaugural Dividends Through Diversity and Inclusion Recognition Awards. How has HealthPeak committed to diversity within its business culture? Well, we, we think the diversity is extremely important for a couple of reasons. Um, first and foremost, um, I just like the fairness of having uh, a diverse and inclusive uh, team. And it allows a fair playing field for everybody on the team, allows people, to, the best people to succeed and reach their goals and hopefully have a good time doing it. And second, uh, we've always had the view, why would we not select our talent from the entire talent pool rather than just a subset? 
And there's no doubt that having the best team ultimately provides a huge opportunity to outperform within the industry. So we're fully dedicated to diversity and inclusion. Great. Tom, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And for more on REIT World 2019, be sure to visit NearEAT's website, REIT.com.